more delays on the North Shore as crews work to improve that barrier along the Malka side of Kamehameha Highway. Yeah, this following that rock slide that shut down the key roadway in Waimea Bay on Sunday. And our Casey Lund is out there live this morning with an update at other dangerous areas across the state. Right, Casey? Yeah, good morning, guys. And we're going to talk about that in just a moment. But uh, like you said, the update on the work that is still needing to be done here along Kamehameha Highway. This is actually the worst uh, in the state the top, and the top 10 list from DOT as far as uh, rock slide hazards. We'll talk a little bit more about that in a moment. But you can see that temporary concrete barrier that was put up uh, that was also smashed by a couple of rocks that DOT released from the hillside earlier in the week after that initial Sunday rock slide. So the work that still has to happen, though, is extending that metal fencing 15 feet high, about 190 feet down Kamehameha Highway. Uh, that is going to be a $1.2 million project, should wrap up in March if the state can get the funding and the permits. What they're doing is trying to get some emergency zone designation so they can expedite that process. But like you said, we're also talking a little bit about some of the other hazardous roadways across the state. Let's talk about Kauai first. Uh, the two most dangerous areas there for falling rocks on Kuhio Highway, west of Kilauea, another just west of Princeville. That's again, according to data from the Department of Transportation and their top 10 hazardous rockfall areas. They're ranked number four and six, respectively. Let's go over to Maui on the Valley Isle. The worst spot there, uh, Manavai Nui Gulch uh, at the Hono, Hono Piilani, Piilani, excuse me, Highway. That stretch came in at number seven on the state's top 10 list. And then over on Hawaii Island, that Hawaii Belt Road, pretty notorious for rock slides there. Uh, they have seen some recently, a total of four areas, two on either side of Hakoa Stream. They represent numbers nine, three, two, and five on that top 10 list from the state. Uh, we're also taking a closer look at how the DOT has worked to make those areas safer and their plans for the future. They've done slope stabilization efforts, uh, replanting vegetation, those kinds of things, even fine-tuned GPS monitoring. They have some devices there that they've used uh, on Kuhio Highway. The DOT says they're also planning to do that on those trouble areas on Hawaii Belt Road on the Big Island. Back out here live, again, the work that still has to be completed over the next few months this week, uh, there's the request from DOT to make an emergency zone here. That'll expedite funding and permitting. There's a meeting for that today. Uh, that's happening at 1230. You can find a link to join virtually online at hawaiinewsnow.com. For now, though, let's head things back into the studio with Stephen Grace. Thanks, Casey.